Welcome to another video. So we're gonna quickly solve this one where we have a product. So this is just, we're gonna apply the product's rule to this one. The only problem is that this one is a composite function such that what's inside might require some extra skill if you didn't know what to do with this. So in order for us to go ahead, I'm just gonna show you the general rule that is applied whenever you're doing this. So I'm gonna go here and say, let u be equal to two to the x because this requires some extra step. That's why I'm gonna start that way. So we can rewrite our problem and say that y is equal to x sine u. Okay, with this, well, we can as well just go ahead and differentiate. We can come back here and find what we need at the end of the day. But for now, let's just work this out. So if we differentiate using the product rule, we have dy dx will be equal to, remember the product rule, you keep the first, differentiate the second. So it's gonna be, keep the first, differentiate the second. That's gonna be cosine u. But u is a function of x, we know that. Okay, so we can't just leave it. We have to multiply it using the, the chain rule. We have to multiply it by du dx. We don't know what du dx is yet, and that's what we're going to figure out later. Okay, plus, remember the product rule. Keep the first, differentiate the second, then differentiate the first and keep the second. So if we differentiate x, we're going to get 1 multiplied by, if we keep the second, we're going to get sine u. Okay, so, well... Surprisingly, that's all you have to do, and this is it. There's nothing else to do, but we don't know what du dx is, and that's what we want to quickly find out now. Okay, du dx. We're going to come back and write our final answer once we know what du dx is, and we already know what u is. Okay, so we can say that this is equal to x cosine u. Remember, our u is 2 to the x. Let me put it in parentheses. Okay, multiplied by something we don't know yet. I'm gonna leave that space, plus sine u. Once we get this du dx, we'll be fine. So let's find du dx. So we say u equals two to the x. So u equals two to the x. And because you have the variable, okay, um, with respect to which you're doing the differentiation as part of the exponent, it's not good. You wanna bring it down. And the good way to bring it down is to introduce logarithms. So we're gonna introduce logarithm, which is natural log is my favorite. And we take the log, natural log of both sides. So we say ln u equals ln two to the x. Okay, which means that ln u will be equal to x ln two. At this point, you have, this is, this is a constant, and this is a variable. We can differentiate both sides. So we can take the derivative of both sides, ddx of ln u will be equal to ddx of x ln 2. And remember, because this is a constant, it doesn't have to be on the front. You can bring it here, ln 2 d dx of x. Now, that's what you have. Whenever you differentiate a function, the natural log of a function, you get 1 over that function. So we're supposed to have, let, let's write it here, 1 over u is what you get. But remember, u itself is a function of x, so you have to differentiate u, which will be times du dx. When you differentiate x, you get 1. 1 times ln2 is ln2. So what is du dx? From here, we can see that du dx is equal to ln2 multiplied by u. If you multiply both sides by u, you're gonna get um, u multiplied by ln2. Now, what is u? That's it. So our dy dx is actually two to the x ln2. And that's what we're supposed to plug in here because that's our dy dx. So I'm going to write two to the x ln 2. Okay, this looks a little bit scattered, but that's our final answer. Okay, if you want to make it prettier, you can write it somewhere and or you leave it. But I'm just going to make it prettier. Uh, how do we rearrange this so it looks good? Let's bring this out here. Let's bring all the numbers and leave the um, 
trigonometric functions on the right hand side. So I'm going to write it as x times 2 or 2 to the x times x. Let's write it this way. dy dx, finally, dy dx equals 2 to the x multiplied by x multiplied by ln2 multiplied by cosine 2 to the x plus sine 2 to the x. Okay. Don't forget, that answer is the same exact answer as this. We just rearranged the terms, and that's it. Okay? So the only extra work we did, which you should... You don't have to show this work if you know how to do this, how to find the derivative of a constant to a function. It is always the natural log of the base multiplied by the function itself. The natural log of the base multiplied by the function itself, like you saw here. Natural log of the base multiplied by the function itself. And that will always be your derivative. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and leave a comment in the comment section. Don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.